back to CTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Sluten. This episode, we're going to be talking about singletons. The singleton design pattern, really what is it? Well, you probably already know this, but let's define it clearly. A singleton object provides a global point of access. The application object is an example. Singleton class returns the same instance no matter how many times it is requested. Well, it's a global thing. No matter where you're requesting it from, you should see the same thing. A few singletons, and we've seen this one. There's the application, and if you send the shared application message to the UI application class, you get back a pointer to the application object. We saw the device briefly when we talked about universal applications. There actually is a physical screen representation, UI screen. You don't really see this. It's actually accessed when the window is created, which is the top of the view hierarchy. There's an accelerometer. We'll be talking about that in the future. And there's a bunch more. Now, why have this whole concept? Why not just have a global object out there that everybody's told what it is and, and you access it? Well, you don't want to clutter up the namespace. Um, and you want to stick with a class-based programming paradigm with proper prefixes, UI, NS. And Basically, you may decide that the singleton that you always thought was a singleton, you may want to make it multiple instances of it as your application evolves. And if you started with a class approach, that becomes more reasonable to move in that direction. That's a more minor consideration. Let's go over to the desktop. Let's take a look at the simplest possible singleton you can create. I have a project here called Singleton. It will be on the website. I've created a new class using the new file menu item. It just simply inherits from NS object. And it's called CTN model. There's a dot H and dot M. We're looking at the dot M. There is a method called shared model it simply returns a pointer to a CTN model. And this method is also defined in the .h. It's public. Now, all singletons are really fundamentally based on static data, meaning a piece of data that is effectively global, but in this case, it's scoped to this particular method. Now what happens is if this variable, which is defaulted to nil, if it is nil, I create a new instance of shared CTN model. Well, it's just simply CTN model alloc init. And I return it. If it's already been instantiated, I just simply return it. It's very simple. There's nothing that prevents the other code from doing an alloc init and creating its own instance. However, it provides the ability to get access to a shared object. Now let's go to the next slide and we're going to test this. Okay, I've written some code in the app delegant in application did finish launching. The first thing is I simply have a log statement indicating that the app did launch. And I have two pointers defined model one, model two to a CTN model. Now I'm calling shared model twice. Now theoretically, what should happen here 
is that I should be getting a pointer to the same object. In actuality, the first time it's invoked is when it's actually created. The second time, the pointer is just simply passed back. I have an if statement. It's doing a check to make sure that they are not different or that neither of them are nil. And then just simply I'll put a message saying it did not work. And then I have the standard return yes, which you have to do from, from this method. Now down on the bottom, we have the debug pane open here. Let's go ahead and run this. OK, we've stopped on the if. And we go down and we look at what's on the stack. And in particular, I want to see the, the value of model 1 and model 2. And these are the addresses to the object. Now you notice they're identical. In other words, it is the same object. Now, to display these, I had to check off local variable. If we look over on the console, you know, app has launched. Of course, we're stopped before the if. So if there was an error detected by the if, it wouldn't have been output. Let's continue running. And now we're at the return. And you notice nothing additional came out on the consult. One thing to note, though, and this is, this is an interesting aspect of the debugger. I am stopped before the return. So theoretically, you would think that the pointers would still be valid on the stack. It turns out they are not. Now, I don't exactly know what the nature of the debugger is that causes that to happen, but it is the case. We're done. Um, this application will be on the website in the configuration that it's currently in. Okay, I'm going to raise a few points. I'm going to talk over the photo here for a little bit. I guess um, making a singleton's like kind of like growing mushrooms. First place, this particular example doesn't have any protections in it to prevent um, code from creating multiple objects. There are ways of doing that. The other is that you may note that we basically use the app delegate in the last episode as a singleton, um, but you don't want to clutter that up with a lot. So this is a way of actually creating your model. That's why this class is named CTN model. The other thing is we made use of the um, NS user defaults in the last episode as our data store. You shouldn't clutter that up either. It's okay to put some things in there, particularly when they relate to defaults. We will be getting into the file system um, eventually, how to create files and, and actually write them. And there's also core data, which is object-oriented database. Thanks for watching.